How's it going everybody? Um, I'm going to teach you something about misdeception. Am I or am I not smoking a joint right now? I guess we'll never know. Maybe it can be filled with tobacco, maybe it can be filled with weed. I guess we'll never know. I'm kind of pissed off at Rob Ford here. I'm going to teach you guys something, okay? You got a guy that starts a weight challenge. He's going to lose weight. He goes through it for a couple weeks. And he quits. That's your mayor. Your mayor quits on you. You know what the problem is? Is it's you guys and your politics. That's what it is. You turn the city around and you run it over politics. You flash your fancy billboards and vote for us and this and that, but you better realize. We're the ones that run the city, okay? Without us, you're nothing. You guys gotta take a step back and think, like, you can talk to us like normal people. That's what we are. You know, don't use your fancy words that you learned and paid $60,000 through college to, to be all fancy and speak words that nobody understands. We all understand, fuck you. It's plain and simple. You're fucking us, okay? And I see it, but no one else sees it. You think the problem is the guns and the violence and all the criminals and stuff like that, but when the problem really is you, you're more fixated on opening up casinos, building, building development of, of uh, condominiums, I haven't seen you guys open up one rec center, you know, a full facility where people can use the basketballs, play tennis, swimming, uh, badminton, pool, uh, you know, anything that can focus a kid's attention on doing good things, you guys don't put any money out towards any of this. I'm telling you right now, Rob Ford, I could do your job better than you could. And I promise these people that things would change in Toronto. You don't need more cops. You don't need to, to tell people, oh, well, this is still a safe city and this is... It's not a safe city. It's not because you guys are making it not. You want to open up... Like, you want to put alcohol now in convenience stores and... You know, if these drunks can access alcohol 24 hours... This city is going to blow up to hell. Because I know some people that drink, and I would not appreciate it if they can get 24 hours alcohol. There's no way. I would just kill myself. I would. I would. Oh, my God. It would be hell. You're, you're taking steps backwards rather than steps forwards. And, like, really, do I got to show you the way? It's misdeception, like I said. You don't know if I'm smoking a joint, and you don't know if it's tobacco. Hey, what? That's not even what. Check it out. Oh yeah, I don't know, eh? Like I said, we're the people of the city. We run the city. Stop treating us like cattle because we're not cattle. We're not a tax bracket. We're not something you can just lay your head on and just, you know, punch it in, get it all comfortable where you like it because we don't like it. We're sick. We're tired. And there, there's nothing in the city for us to do besides go to work, pay our bills, our taxes, and what, maybe hit a movie, maybe once a month <sighs> like I said man I'm getting I'm getting seriously sick you guys wake up smell the coffee because you probably drink Tim Hortons every fucking day and do something with the city man you have these gay gay pride days you have the Carabana you have uh Taste of Danforth coming up, uh, Little Italy, like, all these things. 
why don't we have a day where we could all celebrate a day just because of life, of living, who we are, you know? We just land another rover on Mars, okay? That's a great feat, you know? We're doing things that if we are alone on Earth and there's no other beings like aliens or whatever, UFOs, we're doing something no one else has ever done and we're taking advantage of it. You know, like people said, they spent a, a couple hundred mil million dollars on the goddamn thing, but yet they, they got starving people in the United States. People are going hungry all over the world. If it is a dead planet, it's a waste of money. But you already know the planet's there. Come on, people. Wake up, man. You're drones. You're, you're, that's all you are. You're a drone for them. Stop being drones. Take control of your own life. It's your life, not theirs. Take control of it. You know when things are wrong, when things feel bad, and like you're being treated wrong by your government, the people that are supposed to help us. Take control of it. There's more of us than there are of them. You know, without us, they're nothing. If every single person went to a bank and closed their bank account, the banks would be screwed. Close your bank account. And we'll see. Oh, oh. Like I said, I'm on top of things now. I run this city. I'll be mayor. Because Ford, you're shit. You're, you're. I can't even say nothing else about you. I understand you're sick. You're in a hospital, but you know what? That's life. And I'm not gonna cry pity for you because. You can't dedicate yourself to losing weight. You can't dedicate yourself to us. And when I see you step up to the game and start opening up facilities where kids can do these things, play ball, whatever, rather than trying to put more cops on the street and trying to say that we're all the criminals and stuff like that, we're not the criminals. Okay? We're not. It's a hot not life for us. You see what I mean? Like, come on. It, it, it's hard. That's all I got to say, man. Mm. Peace, oh, peace.